So I have registered for competition on the website on virtualrobotgames.com uh, and now I want to actually start the process. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to competitions and I'm going to put in my email address and my password, the same that I used on the, uh, on the website. I'm going to click submit and it's going to download the project that I need. It went very quickly. It's going to download the project that I need, uh, which in this case is the line following competition. So I'm going to click once on line following, click OK, and it's going to open up the competition for me. So the objective here is to get from the green box to the red box as fast as possible. When you first start, the robot doesn't uh, is it's on the green section so it might be necessary to make a short drive in order to get onto the black line so i'm going to make a very very simple uh, line following algorithm and all i'm going to do is tell the robot i want you to do this forever um, what i want you to do is something very simple if you see something bright so if something is, uh, okay, less than 50 is, uh, is dark. So if you see something dark, I want you to turn on the motor and I want you to turn to the left. A little more than that, let's say about 51, about 50, there we go. And if you see something bright, I want you to turn to the right 50. Uh, and I'm just going to turn the engine on, like the motor on, like that. Okay. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is look and see what this um, this number is actually going to be. I'm guessing that it's 50. So earlier I took a light sensor on the wood board, and it's a uh, sensor reading, and it was about 75. And this is down to zero. So halfway between 75 and zero, you can pick any number. Uh, I chose um, 50 on this, but uh, you could pick the average of the two numbers or whatever you like, as long as it's between. So I'm not actually trying to follow the black line. I'm trying to follow the edge. Um, so the reason that I'm doing that is because if you try to follow the black line, if the robot doesn't, uh, if it continued forward like this, it would end up falling off the right side of the line here. If it did the same thing here it was following, it would fall off the left side. So you, it's hard to come up with an algorithm. It's impossible to come up with an algorithm that says uh, to turn towards the black line. So instead of doing that, we're going to follow the edge of the black line. Uh, and that way I can say if it's on, uh, on the wood, I want you to turn back towards the black line. If it's too much on the black line, I want you to turn back towards the wood. And that's what this simple little uh, algorithm here does using the number 50 as the number. Uh, it looked like I might need just a short drive at the beginning of the thing, so I'm going to give it just maybe 0.3 rotations um, before it starts this. Um, all right, so now I'm going to take all this, and I'm going to put it onto the brain. There we go. And uh, I am going to program the brain by clicking here just like you would with the physical robot connect to it and then download it there it is all right now i can find the program which is going to be what did i name it it should just be project there it is and i'm going to run it my short drive and there's some line following uh, so this is a two-step or two-phase line follower. So the robot basically jiggles its way down uh, to the to the other side. So it's if it's seeing something brighter than 50, it's going towards the line. If it's seeing something uh, darker than 50, it's going towards the wood. And uh, that is going to succeed, I think, as long as I don't hit the edge of the board over here. looking good yep okay so it's gonna make it to the red and when it does that I it asks me if I'd like to submit the results and the answer to that is yes I would like to submit the results 
So the results uh, basically automatically come in to the uh, to the website, to the Virtual Robot Games website. I don't really do a whole lot. I just accept. And this is my time. I came in uh, I came in 42.1 seconds. And uh, that is not the best time. Uh, it, I came in 16th place, but that's all right. Uh, because I can try again and I can use more advanced um, line following algorithms that I'll show in other videos. So that's the basics of how to run it, how to do a very simple line following uh, example, and then how to submit the score. Thanks a lot. See you next time.